Good morning and welcome again to the Battles Within. Today is January the 8th. We're still continuing our study in Second and First John chapter 2. And we're going to focus on three verses today. Verses 15, 16, and 17. These are powerful. I have them underlined in my Bible and square and, uh, and boxed in. John writing, and John says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Verse 15, Love not the world. We, John is giving you a, a thought here, right? I mean, in chapter 1 and chapter 2, he's been talking to you about the difference. He's been doing a comparison. He's been comparing those people who think they're saved with those who are really saved. He's been comparing light to darkness. He's been comparing, you should be able to see people say, hold, judge not, let you be judged, as the Bible says. But you understand that we can clearly see, this is really written to evaluate ourselves, it's not that we should be pointing our fingers at somebody else. Aha, he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. Aha, he's not right with God. That is not what John is trying to do. John wants you to do a self-evaluation. Are you walking in the light or are you walking in darkness? Do you love the world or do you hate the world? Do you love mankind or do you hate mankind? Are you striving for what's right or not? He says in verse 15, love not the world. Don't love the things you can get out of this world. You know, when we die, we leave it all behind. No matter what we do, we leave it all behind. And we leave it for somebody else. They always say, try to leave the world a little better than you left, than you got when you, before you got here. Well, that's right. But the way you do that is by telling people about Jesus. It's not about building bigger buildings or, or having more property or cars or even huge families. It's about what you do for Jesus. He said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If a man loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him. See, God does not love the worldliness. That's the difference between loving mankind and loving world. This world he's talking about is the sinful things of the world, the things that we see, the possessions. Those are the things he's talking about. For all that is in the world, and then he gives you what's in the world. What's in the world is the lust of the flesh. Paul says the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. See, or the spirit will the flesh is weak. Then he says, and the lust of the eyes. We, we don't lust, people don't commit adultery until they lust after something first. You understand? Men usually don't steal until they covet what someone else has. The lust of the eyes. Okay? Men don't try to backbite their co-workers at work to try to get a promotion over somebody else until they want that promotion better than somebody else. You understand? Then it says, and the pride of life, thinking yourself to be more than you are, thinking you're more important. Let me tell you, we are like filthy rags. We're, Paul said, oh, the wretched man that I am. See, final says, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. So he said, the world, all these worldly possessions, all these things that are involved in the world are going to pass away. All the houses, all the lands, the Bible tells us they will be destroyed by fire. The world will be completely destroyed by fire. As it was the flood in Noah's day, so it shall be with fire. When Jesus, and, and during, the, uh, during the tribulation, at the end of, tribula the, end of the, the, the period of time. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. So the lust of the eyes, and the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, they're going to all pass away. He said, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. See, God gives you a comparison. Are you worshiping God? Are you following man? Are you following God? It makes a difference in your life. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you so much. There's opportunity we can look in your word. I pray, Lord, you help us not to have the, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and, and the pride of life. Help us, Lord, to see what we can do for you. All these other things, Lord, pass away. We know they don't mean anything. Help us, Lord, to follow you. Help us, Lord, to do what you said in the end of that verse, Lord. Let us be like you. Lord, I pray that you would help us to, to follow the will of the Father and abide with you forever. For it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for your time and your attention today.